Tweedledum and Tweedledee, you need help. You need help to answer your question, which came first? Now, sometimes that question has got a very obvious answer. For example, which came first, World War I or World War II? Well, World War I came first and World War II came second. Sometimes it's not as obvious. Let's look at the number 65. We're going to look at all of the proper divisors of 65. So what are they? Well, there's 13, and there's 5, and there's 1. Okay, let's list those. And now we're going to add them up. So 13 plus 5 plus 1, that would be 19. Now we're going to go to the number 19, and we're going to do the same thing. What are the proper divisors of 19? Ooh, 19 is its prime. So the only proper divisor is 1, and so we go to 1. So you might think, based on this, that the chicken goes to the egg, goes to the chicken. So you might think that it's the 65, the chicken, that is the um, where we start that sequence. But actually, we could go back further and we could say, well, is there a number that could produce a 65? And indeed, there is. And here it is, 117. Let's look at all of the proper divisors of 117. Here it is. So actually, this is an egg sequence, right? Wrong. <laughs> because we can keep on going back and ask, is there a chicken that could produce 117? And indeed there is. And here it is. It's 100. So you can see it's very tough to answer this question. Where, where does it all begin? Does it begin with a chicken or an egg? Now, I don't know the answer. Uh, maybe there's some um, other number that you can come up with that produces a hundred. It'll end up to be a chicken. It'll be an egg. It'll be an egg. 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 I know it'll be an egg. Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Now it's time for you two to choose a number and to try out this chicken and egg sequence. I'm going to choose 284. Okay, now it's how am be I going to get egg. the proper divisors of 220? How do I do this? Yeah, I, I need, need help. help! 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 Don't just you sit there, you don't just sit there. Students. Turn off this help video me. and help me! Okay, now what's going to be the factors? Turn this video off. Okay, so help. what are the proper divisors? 1, 10, 42, 55, 71, 44, 4, 2, 22, 1. 20, 11, I, I've won! I've won! <laughs> I've lost! <laughs> the That's fantastic! You yeah, so the over. egg does come before the chicken. 5, 4, 2, 1. Yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> That's 284. <laughs> So we both well, win. Looks like you <laughs> wasn't just pulled you. out a tie at the last second. Ah, 284 leads to 284 and 284 leads to 220. It's I a chicken and egg. To that and guess what? We both win. <laughs> Tweedledum and Tweedledee. The problem that you were having was that you were trying to ask a question that had an assumption in it. The assumption was, was that one of these two numbers, 220 or 284, had to be first. But in fact, that wasn't true. One of them was not first. Both of them just kept on going round and round and round in a circle. In mathematics, you have to be very careful of the question that you're trying to answer. What would have happened if you had chosen the numbers 496 and 497? Well, 497 one would proceed in a normal way, and you'd end up at a prime number 79 and eventually end up at 1. But 496 ends up at itself. So it's the chicken and the egg. I want you guys now to find at least two of these perfect numbers less than 30. So stop the video now and start searching for some of these perfect numbers less than 30. Remember, a perfect number is whenever you add together all its proper divisors, it's equal to the number. Let's now look at those perfect numbers. There's not too many of them that we know of. 
We start with 6, 28, 496, 8,128, then 33 million, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, those are big numbers. They're getting big too quickly. Oh, no, they're they're tickling me. Ah, get them off. Get them they're off me. Get them off, off my skin. They're cutting oh, all over me. Stop it. Getting at me. Stop it. Stop it, you two. Let's slow down and look at the factors of 496. You can see that they're all made up of 31 and a whole bunch of 2s. Let's see if that pattern continues whenever we look at other perfect numbers. 8,128. Indeed, that is composed of uh, 127 plus a bunch of 2s. So its proper factors are also composed of those 2. Now this is becoming a little bit cumbersome. For example, 64 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well, that's a lot of 2s and uh, it's difficult to say. So we're going to come up with a new type of way to say it. We're going to say 2 to the 6th. Now, you don't need to know that until you go up a few grades. But it's useful to show you that we can talk much, much more effectively whenever we use some of this faster notation. Let's see if this is still true whenever we go up to 33 million. And again, we find that it's composed of a whole bunch of twos and the prime 8,191. And indeed, Euler proved that all perfect numbers look like this whenever you decompose them. The proper factors of perfect numbers add up to themselves. The proper factors of abundant numbers add up to more than the number itself. So, have we seen an abundant number? Yes, we have. The number 100, if you add up all of the proper factors of 100, remember that we got to 117. So, 100 is an abundant number. Now, I've got a question for you. Which of these two is true? There is an odd abundant number that is less than 1,000, or odd abundant numbers don't exist at all. So try to solve that. Hopefully you've discovered that there is an odd abundant number less than 1,000. One of them only, and that is 945. Let's look at all of the proper divisors of 945. There they are, and they add up to 975. Tweedledum and Tweedledee, do you remember that 496 was a perfect number? Yes, yes of, of course, course we do. remember. Well, 12,496 is an even more interesting number. I'm going to let you guys figure out why it's so interesting. So again, you're going to use the chicken and egg uh, sequence to figure out why this is special. But I am going to give you some hints, because this is a tough problem. First, I'm going to tell you that 967 and 1783 are prime. Secondly, I'm going to tell you that there's some composite numbers, and I've given you the breakdown for two of them out of the three. So go ahead, figure out the chicken and egg sequence for 12,496, and whenever you've done that, come back. So here is the chicken and egg sequence. 12,496 goes to 14,288, goes to 15,472, goes to 14,536, goes to 14,264, which goes back to 12,496. So we've done a complete pentagonal kind of circuit there. And that is why 12,496 is just as special as 496. Tweedledum and Tweedledee, before we say goodbye, I just wanted to say that there is an unsolved problem of mathematics here. And that is, does one of these loops exist with just three numbers, not five.